Okay. Nein, nein. Is it showing? Yes. Okay. So we have Okay, so we have that the rates we had we had to, to react nitric acid alongside with sodium disulfate. We actually we are going to get products. I don't care about the products we are going to get. So the rate accompanying this chemical reaction is the rate constant times the concentration of the nitrate ion to its order times the concentration the sulfate ion to its order I can call the order M so um, since the concentration of nitric acid was constant throughout the experiment then if you want to plot a graph for example according to the equation we are plotting a graph of the rate against the concentration of sodium sulfate. now if it is a straight line graph horizontally it therefore means that the order of this reaction is, is zero. Okay, the order with respect to this reactant is zero. Because for the order to be, this concentration was constant all through, which therefore means that I can pair everything here and I call it a constant. So I can have something like R is equal to maybe capital K times the concentration of the tau sulfate ion raised to the power its order. So if M is equal to zero, Therefore, means that R will be equal to K, and R will be equal to K is just a straight line which is horizontal. The gradient is the, the, the gradient of that line is zero. Now, if instead I have a straight line graph like this, for example, not necessarily passing through the origin, okay, then having a straight line graph like this means that R is equal to K times the concentration of tau sulfate ion so the order is one because this is like y is equal to mx so i plot the graph of rates against concentration the rate constant this capital k here do it is combined with this is equal to the gradient so you're going to have a straight line graph with a positive gradient now in the case where i rather have a curve okay kind of a quadratic then the order is 2 because a quadratic normally functions like this the since there are no negative concentrations you just end here so i'm going to write everything on one graph horizontal zero order straight line first order and curve second order so after plotting your graph you just have to check what you have rate against concentration if it is horizontal is zero order we expect that reactant if it's a straight line it is first order we expect to the reactant and if it is a curve it is second order we expect to the reactant now in the next question we have been told that you should find the here the next question you should according to the equation they said explain now explain how you arrive at your answer that's just the explanation so i will just explain here Assuming that the order with respect to the, the acid is 1, write the rate expression for the reaction. So if the order with respect to the acid is 1, then clearly my rate law will be equal to the rate constant times the concentration of... Uh, ah, anyways, that was supposed to be for the acid. So the concentration of H plus to the power 1 and then the concentration of the tau sulfate ion since it is first order because when you plot this graph you realize that it is first order because you're going to have a straight line graph so here yeah, is going to give you the rate law and then next they're asking write a balance equation for the re reaction between nitric acid and sodium tau sulfate i can't complete this reaction because i don't know what i'm going to get we are not i'm going to get the salt and water you can check your inference book to know exactly what to get why must the reaction picker be rinsed before the next experiment is carried out? Give your answer in the comment section.